the setup and then let's see what the result is. First, we have to get to the camera. I'm using my Nikon Z6 with a Sigma 28mm macro lens and I need to first get my frame a shutter speed higher and as it is, I've already got it on to H, which is uh, good enough for me. That means I have in my camera about four to five frames per second. And uh, that's basically what you'd need to do. Get your shutter speed as fast as you can because we're gonna be taking a lot of continuous shots. Welcome to my studio. Um, today, setup is quite simple. I have uh, this glass thing. Uh, you can even use a glass. I just found this so it was wonderful. So yeah, this glass container, right? I filled it with water. I set up my camera with a macro lens again in front of it. And I have this really wonderful um, ring light. So I have set up my ring light around it. So they get this fabulous uh, <laughs> light, which is really even. If you don't have that, you can use daylight. It'll work uh, quite well. And uh, I have put a twig in there so that I can focus because I don't know where I'm going to put the drop. So I've done a sort of in the center of it, I've uh, created a, a stick, so I focused on the stick, so I know I'm going to be dropping the drops of ink on roughly that area. The rest is, uh, my aperture is nice and uh, uh, low, so I have, uh, you know, a uh, low aperture, so I have a larger depth of field, and uh, that's the scenario. Quite simple. The main thing I need is uh, the syringes. If you don't have syringes, you can use a dropper, you can even just drop and I need ink. I have used uh, this. This is sort of a, a airbrush uh, ink, but you can use anything. You can use even normal ink, and uh, that's what we're going to use to jet into the water. You need to now fill your syringes with the color and uh, then place them over, have somebody help you, and inject them into the water. All the while, you're going to be photographing at a really high shutter speed. And uh, I'm shooting about nine frames per second. Your cameras can do whatever you want. Um, the more shots you get, the more uh, well, the more chances you have to get a really good picture. Um, this is what I've done in slow motion with my phone camera. And uh, as you can see, it's quite nice. Uh, uh, you're going to have, uh, because mo you, if you don't want to be too close, so you're going to have uh, really... Uh, wasted space on both sides which you can crop in photoshop or in any other software that you use um, and you get uh, really interesting images and now i'll take you to what you can do outdoors if you don't have all these fancy lights i've set this up for people without uh, ring lights and uh, any light stuff so uh, everyone has a daylight so for the daylight i use a a reflector which is a poly right now otherwise you can use a sheet i've got the same big glass thing here set up my camera on a tripod in front of it with a high speed shutter on it and i'm going to shoot the ink in from the top here and photograph it at the same time and you can get fancy stuff all you need is a glass or preferably without any coated edges and a glass full of water and the same ink so i'm going to shoot this on my same iPhone, but in slow mo, to show you all what happening. So this is handheld uh, and in slow mo. If you really like any image from here, you can just take a screenshot of it and then uh, zoom in, do a little bit of post. Here are some of the results of what we did in the studio with the ring light, and I'm very happy with the results. So I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. See you all again with another episode of whatever this is. Hashtag me, and uh, let's have some more creative stuff, and let's see where this goes. Take safe.